It's not a secret anymore that processes like plant health and plant physiology are not mediated only by plants. Plants are not alone out there. They are actually inhabited by a multitude of microorganisms living in their tissues, but also around them, mostly in the soil. These microorganisms that actually live inside the plants and all around the plants, mainly in the rhizosphere, they can help the plants in processes like a nutrient assimilation or also defense against pathogens. This is actually the result of a co-evolution that lasted millions of years in which the plant evolved to release a cocktail of molecules that we call root exudates. The role of these exudates is to specialize the microbial community and acquire specific microbes with specific functions. And this is what we are trying to do with some of our products, like Viva, that wants to mimic these root exudates and achieve a level of specialization in the microbial community and make it last over time. What we are researching here in Stein and worldwide in Syngenta is a solution for having prebiotics, probiotics that can help plants out there. This beneficial interaction between plant and microorganism represent an opportunity from a biotechnological point of view. What we aim to do is actually to research and develop a series of new products so to have an improved microbial community that can sustain plant health and plant productivity over time. We have the opportunity to research and deliver a new generation of biological products that can help strengthen this interaction, specialize it further for a longer time. And in this way, we can actually achieve a new level of protection and stimulation of plant health. I actually think this is a great opportunity to sustain crop productivity in a more sustainable way. Join us in the next episode as we dig deeper into the marvels of agricultural innovation and the ongoing quest for healthier soils and a healthier planet.